Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to take another look at Metallica. This time we're going to go to their 10th album from 2016, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. And we're going to look at the song Spit Out the Bone. This is one, it's a fan favorite, uh, so kind of a latter-day classic. When I was doing research on this... I heard something to the effect that this song was influenced to some degree by the band GBH from back in the 80s. They were a UK punk band. They put out an album called City Baby Attacked by Rats, which all of the thrash bands now consider a major influence. Now, I I didn't have that album, but we did have uh, City Baby's Revenge Around, which was the follow-up, and I really liked that album. As a matter of fact, that was kind of an early favorite you know, on cassette in the car (laughs) back in those days. And this would have been about the same time that the thrash bands were starting up, because that came out in 84. City Baby, Attacked by Rats, came out in 82. So Metallica considers them an influence. And who else? Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax all. Oh, and also Exodus. Also Celtic Frost. Ah, that's one heck of a list. Yeah, not bad. And and then it also says GBH have also influenced 90s and 2000s bands like Nirvana, who we've covered, Queens of the Stone Age, who we've covered, you know, and others. I think that their album City Baby's Revenge is really worth a listen. It's good stuff. It might actually remind you of some of those bands or even uh, Motorhead. They bear some resemblance to that as well. So... This particular song is kind of a throwback, I guess, to that style and something they wanted to do by 2016. So I'm very much looking forward to hearing this. Uh, Adrian, any thoughts before we start? I'm also looking forward to hearing this. Yeah? Okay. Sounds pretty good. (laughs) You've never heard the song Spit Out the Bone before? No, I've never heard the song before. Okay. Well, that goes for two of us. (laughs) So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay.
question for you, London. Ends with fire on the drums. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like uh, it sounds like he was saying, "Okay, laddie," or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what he was saying exactly at that point, but uh, yeah, nice high octane performance. I, I've been talking about time machines before. This felt like another time machine to the '80s. You just hear that mad thrash. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, just it just begins with the machine gun drums and then uh, goes into a classic riff. Yeah, it does remind me of the 80s, even though it came out less than 10 years ago. Yeah. It, it does feel like a throwback. And I think, actually, it, it did sound a lot like GBH. So it says, Hetfield states the phrase, spit out the bone, was taken from British punk rock band uh, Charge GBH's song, Passenger on the Menu, from their 1982 album, City Baby Attack by Rats. Yeah, it makes sense that you would end it with OK Laddie, <laughs> the British band and everything. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, and Robert, the uh, bass player, says it's the song he likes playing the most on any given night. I mean, Robert Trujillo, I, I kind of pay special attention to him because he played with Metallica and with Ozzy. So that that yeah. is mad respect in my book. Sure, and Suicidal Tendencies, for that matter. Later, later, you know, he was a later day basis for them. For sure, for sure. Um and yeah, um, Kirk Hammett said it was the, the Mount Everest of the new album. So it, I guess it's a favorite for much of the band, and, and why not? <laughs> yeah. But it did kind of have that spirit of GBH. GBH went at about that pace in general. I do recommend City Baby's Revenge. I haven't heard the first one. I understand it's a little more raw than uh, the next one, but definitely worth checking out. So there was one thing that I finally figured out by the end of this video is that the O2 Arena... And I hadn't really figured this before, but I believe it's one of those where there's a stage in the center of the room. And so you've got a crowd all the way around you. Now, maybe it's just that way now because that's what they do. They sell all the tickets in the arena these days. They didn't used to do that. However, um, that kind of looks like it was actually built to be the stage in the middle, uh, which is cool. That means there's a good every every seat is a good seat. But it, it was screwing me up a little bit because I couldn't quite figure out why I mean, at points, none of the band were facing each other. You know, <laughs> like you've got James singing and, and uh, Lars's back is completely to him, you know. <laughs> and, and it was like that for the whole band. You know, it's like this, this big stage. You had Lars in the middle and everybody else is like 30 feet away. It's almost like you almost wonder if they all got separate hotel rooms and, and separate buses for the tour, you know, or something like, I'm not talking to you. Well, I don't have to talk to you. And I'll put you 50 feet that way on the stage. You know, <laughs> I finally figured it out, but that, it was just unusual. You know, that's, yeah. that's all right. Well, anyway, I just gonna say that, you know, I hope the band gets along better than that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> I was just kidding around. So, yeah. okay. So, folks, let us know what you thought about this video and this song in particular. And uh, let us know if you knew who JBH was, also known as Charged GBH. I think it was supposed to be Charged with Great Bodily Harm was the, uh, you know, GBH. Anyway, let us know about any experiences you have with them. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.